Hello, everyone. Today is Monday, March 9th, 2020. My name is John Paul, daytradetowin.com. We've had some very interesting news and situation here in the market. This morning, the market paused right after it opened due to the very fast fluctuation of the market. So the first trigger to pause the market occurred. There are multiple triggers that occur in the market. Uh, the first one being once the market drops a certain percentage. The second would be when the market drops 13%. So that hasn't happened yet. The market is beginning to rebound. So what we have here, just showing you the software of the trade scalper, is a number of signals after the market reopened. So what we have is the market stopping as soon as it began to trade here. And then it started to pick up again. Now, obviously, we don't want to be involved with this type of a situation once we see it get this crazy, um, especially with uh, the volatility that we have. But we are able to still trade as long as it's viable. So you see here a couple of signals where the market went short here at 1050, again here at 11, 11.05, short again, long long 11.35, long again, just now 11.50. Now the ATR is at five points, five and three quarters of a point on the E-mini S&P. So that means that going forward here, the market is able, for example, in this candle right here, to move up or down this amount. So the first thing we wanna do is just outline where it began. And we're going to outline about five and, and a half points. So this, from here to here is what we can expect the movement to be either up or down. So it's staying within that range. This is a good way to understand your targets and your stops and how the market is reacting on a day to day basis. Just be very careful when you trade, especially under these volatile situations. I'm going to try to take a few trades today as the market gets into the middle part of the day. It's now about noon, so this is considered the middle part of the day or the B part of the day, as I like to call it, as the market begins to slow down a little bit. As long as the ATR doesn't come up to 10 or 15, especially on a one-minute chart, it should stay around five points in order for it to be uh, realistically tradable. But as soon as it begins to go beyond this here, we have to be very careful. Your targets and your stops have to be put in place in order to protect yourself. So if there's a signal, I want to show you the signal. I want to show you the entries, and I also want to show you um, how to manage the trade. Never let this run away from you. A lot of good traders that I know, if they let this go against them and continue to go against them for an extended period of time, can get in trouble. So remember to use your stops and be careful. All right, now I'm going to show you the Atlas line as we see it up to this point. It's still about 12 o'clock noon. After the market stopped trading and then continued, obviously we have to be careful because of the volatility. You can see on even on a one minute chart with the ATR being 9, 10, it's very, very volatile. But to show you the signals on the Atlas line, for those of you who are adventure enough, to trade, thinking that you can make big money here, nine, 10 points. We have a short here, right after the market started to trade again. There's a long trade here. The pullback trades as well in strength trades. There's another Atlas line long right over here. And then the market started to go lower and there's a short signal here. Along with the strength trades and pullback trades, followed by a long signal once again. So the idea with the Atlas line is to make within the next four candles, typically four minutes, because we're using a one minute chart. I like the five minute chart, but it's just too volatile on the five minute chart. So on a one minute chart, you have this ability, as you can see, seven points, which is roughly in line here with the ATR was doing five, six, seven points. The same thing is true here for the long. You know, market's in, in line here for about six points. Obviously, the market went more than six points. And here we are at the moment, way up here. 
So what we're looking at is pullback and strength trades. Since the market is now above the Atlas line, we're going to see these S's and these P's appear to provide opportunities to the long side only for strength and pullback. And in the event the market comes all the way back down, there's going to be now short trades. So this would be the Atlas line for today up to 12 o'clock, about 12 o'clock, March 9th, 2020. If you have any questions, please email me at support at daytrade2win.com. For those of you attending today's mentorship class, I'll see you later in class. We have a new mentorship class beginning. I'll update the, uh, the dates shortly on the Day Trade to Win website. Email me if you have any questions or give us a call, making sure that trading is the right fit for you, the way that we trade price action. Take care now and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.